I apologize for this unsatisfactory result. What are you doing? We have to shut all the way down. No. Well, we could be in a xenon pit. We have to shut down and wait 24 hours. No, we're doing the test tonight. Raise power to 700. We, we can't raise the power from here. The rules. Don't talk to me about rules. If we fall from 80%. No, no, we fell from 50% of from power. 50 the rules don't say 50. There is no rule. Comrade, the Adlov. I apologize, but what you're saying makes no sense. Raise the power. No. I won't do it. It isn't safe. Safety first. Always. I've been saying that for 25 years. That's how long I've done this job. 25 years. Is that longer than you, Akimov? Yes. Is it much longer? Yes. And you with your mother's tip barely out your mouth? See, if I say it's safe, it's safe. And if the two of you disagree, then you don't have to work here, and you won't. But not just here, you won't work at Kursk or Ignalina or Leningrad or Novovoronezh. You won't work anywhere. Ever again, I'll see to it. I think you know I will see to it. Raise the power. I would like you to record your command. Raise the power. Well, reactor 4 is now a nuclear bomb. 12342. Perovozchenko looks down on the enormous steel lid of the reactor and sees the impossible. The control rod and fuel channel caps, which each weigh 350 kilograms, are jumping up and down. He runs to warn the control room, but there's nothing he can do to stop what is coming. 1.23 and 44 seconds. The steam blows more fuel channels apart. We do not know how high the power went. We only know the final reading. Reactor 4, designed to operate at 3,200 megawatts, went beyond 33,000. The pressure inside the core can no longer be held back. At long last, we have arrived. 123.45, explosion. In the instant the lid is thrown off the reactor, oxygen rushes in. It combines with hydrogen and superheated graphite. The chain of disaster is now complete.